Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to add full damage into your Roblox game. So, for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, we want to head up here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties. So now that we've enabled Explorer and Properties, we now want to go and make or go to the part where if the player jumps or walks off that part, they will receive fall damage. Actually, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using the spawn point. So let's maybe go about that high. You can have whatever, you can have a mountain, you can have a building, you know, it's completely up to you. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to use the spawn point. So now you want to head over to server script service and click on the plus button next to server script service and insert a script. So now that we've inserted a script into server script service, we want to go and remove all the previous code and you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio. Control V, right click paste and paste in the code. So now that we've inserted the code into the script, there are a couple things we can change. So in the code, I've added a couple basically notes to the main parts that you are able to adjust. So this minimum area where it says local minimum and is, I've set it to 10. Minimum height a player can get damage from. Basically what this means, so let's say Timmy is playing around on a jungle gym and he falls off this part here. Because this part is not the height of 10, he will not receive any fall damage. But for example, let's say this is the height of 10. If Timmy falls off this part onto the ground, he will receive fall damage. And here in the maximum height, the maximum height a player can get damage from. If a player jumps off a part which is higher than this, so let's say Timmy's all the way at, up at height 100, for example. If he jumps off there or falls off there onto the ground, it will be a guarantee death. Same thing here where it says humanoid.health equals humanoid.health minus 20. So every single time, so if you, if you fall in between these numbers, so let's say you are higher than 10, but not as high as 25. So let's say you're somewhere in between these numbers of height. You will only receive negative 20 health. You have on default a hundred health. So if you fall off at, for example, 17, you will only receive negative 20 damage, meaning you'd still have 80 damage left because you are in between these numbers. But anything above 25 would be a complete death, even if it's 26. Or on default, I've got it set to 20. But let's say you want them to be uh, to, to die as soon as they hit the ground, even if they're between 10 and 25. You just want to set this to 100. But let's say you only want to kind of give them a little, a little bit of damage. You may want to change that to maybe 5 or 10. It's completely up to you. But for now, let's go test this out in Roblox Studio. As you guys can see, we have just loaded into the base plate. And we are more than, I would say, about 10 height. So if we go and walk off the edge here, we will receive negative 20 damage, meaning we would have about 80, 80 health left. And as you guys can see, because we fell higher than 10 height, we have lost 20 damage, meaning we are at 80 damage. And obviously, automatically, it should re-health. As you guys can see, they're slowly but surely re-healthing. Now, let's go test out. Let's say we were at height 5. Let's go test that out. As you guys can see, we are back in the base plate and we are definitely a lot lower than before. So let's say Timmy's playing on the playground, he falls off, he won't receive any damage. Now let's go test out the height of 50. As you guys can see, we are back in the base plate and we are a lot higher than before. So let's say Timmy's playing on his playground again and he goes and falls because this is higher than a height of 25 it will be a guaranteed instant death and you your character will respawn. So let's go test it out. If we walk off, as you guys can see, our body parts go flying absolutely everywhere and our damage is set to zero. We'll test that one last time. As you guys could see, it was an instant death. If you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to send me a message on Discord and I'll happily help you out. But anyway guys, I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.